So there was a question on the community today about uh, Jira service management, Jira software and uh, second line, third line support agents. Let me read this question. This question is really interesting. And this question is from uh, Jan or Yan. So the question is, I have a question. In my organization, we are using Jira Software Cloud, Jira Service Management Cloud, and we have one problem. I cre created a, I created our service test project, but it mostly works for first line. Okay, so you basically respond to your customers, try to help them resolve their issues. Because our second line, because our second and third line teams are using another project in Jira, not service management because license is too expensive expensive to buy for all participants of this group. So if our first line team cannot resolve ticket, they are manually creating tickets in another project. And uh, there is my question, do you have any other any any ideas how to create process? And which add-on can I use to integrate service management project uh, with software project to integrate second and third line processes with main ticket? Maybe anyone have anyone has any tips to create process like this with second and third lines, but without buying extra service management license. So this is uh, basically um, this is a common problem. It is not just you. And what you can do is, and we have done this many times before, by the way. I have talked about this, and I have also shown how to do it in my videos because you're on, on cloud i'll focus on what all you can do with cloud so you can use automation automation rules on the cloud and what you can do is you can uh, create a linked issue in software project and uh, when a software project is updated you can then uh, post updates back to your original ticket your G, your jira service management ticket and uh, this can be done very easily with uh, the help of uh, your uh, automation rules. I have um, I have made a video on this uh, topic, but let me try to, while I'm talking to you, I'm also trying to find the rule that uh, I can hopefully show you. So, um, so there are two things. Number one, how you can, um, how, how you can create uh, create a link and how you can update uh, uh, maybe a comment how you can basically pass the information to those uh, linked issues and if I search on something like uh, uh, so, so there are two couple of things for example uh, uh, you can also comment on linked issues or you can transition your linked issues and you can use whatever you think works for you for example if you do something like comment on linked issue so let us say your second line or third line agent i guess they are developers or they are uh, they are using something in their own project they are doing something in their own project uh, as long as you have a link you can uh, pass information from your uh, issue your software issue to your jira service management so you can uh, basically trigger this rule when the issue is commented then uh, for linked issues i mean there is a branch rule where you can specify the where you can limit this rule to run for a specific branch and then you can do something with your uh, uh, with, with those linked issues so for example you can just add a comment or as i just mentioned you can uh, also transition your linked issues if you want because uh, maybe you want to transition the issue so you can do the same thing but instead of adding a comment you can say transition the issue and uh, the destination status could be copy from trigger issue so trigger issue is the software issue so this is something that you can do with the help of automation on uh, cloud and uh, it is not just you it is a common problem and uh, the way to handle this the, the way to solve this problem you can use issue links in Jira <coughs> and uh, as long as you have issue links you can do something uh, to those linked issues and use automation you can do a lot of wonderful things with automation and that is all I wanted to, to share and talk about in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today thank you very much